It took LEGO 25 years to remake the UCS Star Interceptor and more than that the same designer Henrik Andersen designed both models. How cool is that? Thanks to LEGO for sending this set for review. Now let's check out if this is a worthy model of the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars UCS line. Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. We have 1931 pieces, price tag of $230, one TIE Pilot with exclusive printing, one mouse droid, and May the 4th 2024 release. At first glance, of course, the ship is a significant upgrade over the first 25-year-old version. Henrik Andersen designed the first version and now he came back 25 years later to make a much better model. The manual has some wonderful shots from Return of the Jedi and it kind of shows how rare the appearance of the TIE Interceptor was in the movies. It also shows you how to properly hold the ship to not break off the wings. And you will also see a glimpse of the upcoming coffee book, the ultimate insider's guide of LEGO Star Wars. This is a beefy model at 16 inches long and 30 inches high, it's gonna take some significant space. The TIE Pilot minifig is exclusively the set only thanks to the arm printing never seen before otherwise it's a pretty classic TIE pilot and unlike the UCS TIE fighter in the past we have a second character here not a minifigure but a mouse droid an inhabitant of many imperial hangar bays commemorative 25 years of LEGO Star Wars brick is also present the plaque comes printed like with all modern UCS sets this one is shiny so it's gonna leave some fingerprints I believe for the first time and you get all the usual specs of the ship along with a nice graphic in blue, showing the framework of the ship. The pimple is visible, however, um, from the molding. So that's if that's something you don't like, well, it's here. Hey, by the way, if you like the shirt I'm wearing, you can get yours today. These shirts are made in partnership between Beyond the Brick and Bricks and Minifigs stores. So you can get those at participating Bricks and Minifigs locations with all these cool logos and Bricks are my sport. And you can also order one online at the link in the description below. The design of the stand is simple, but I like it how the plaque is somewhat centralized behind the character, so you can remove it if you please very easily. And also if you want to remove the ship, you can just do it by one hand. The weight distribution is back heavy, so the ship is the heaviest on this section. That's why the stand is somewhat canted without any adjustability. You can see the Technic struts holding its shape. The way they designed it also, because the, this uh, central section is so heavy, the wings on the back are, are a little thicker. So the weight comes to the back a little bit, so the center of, of the weight is a little bit to the back, to the ion engine sections of the ship. Whereas the front is made a little thinner in the wings, so that way the weight doesn't tip over the ship towards the front. The looks are there. I like this ship more than the X-Wing from last year. It's uh, quite frankly also 10 bucks cheaper. So LEGO did cut a little bit of that price uh, from the uh, X-Wing comparison. And this ship, I feel it's just better design, better quality overall, no sagging, very solid construction, lots of rigidity and just accuracy, which I was kind of missing in the X-Wing. Lots of modern gribbling for a modern ship. We have the gaming. Uh, pads for the sensors on the front of the ship for example. The wing areas near the pylons are highly detailed. You can see that torch piece for example used here. Uh, lots of fun techniques to add some hydraulic systems like there is a, a lipstick piece between those two smaller rounded modified pieces in the middle. That looks really good. They could have just left you know under studs here but in fact they used a lot of nice uh, detail here to make it a bit more interesting. The advanced targeting systems on both sides of the ship are using the shovel pieces just like in the original model from the uh, 25 years ago. Uh, so that is a homage, there's an easter egg to the, towards the beginnings of the UCS line, pretty cool. You can also see a brand new colored uh, train wheel element in grey right here to show the tips of the main solar array. And LEGO also designed a new type of wedge piece, visible for example here at the end of the solar arrays, which is a bit of a different wedge right here, this piece. I think there's like four or eight of them in the set throughout the entire wing section. So that one is achieving the exact shape we need. I really like how the pylons are designed. The pylons are very sturdy, super solid. They do sag a little bit if you put the ship on its back, but when you are swooshing, holding it, it's super solid. Those panels from the front and from the back are kind of attached to a Technic rod inside. There is some shaping done, done here with some, you know, cheating connector pieces, so you can kind of move it as you can see, but 
uh, once you know pushed against the model it gives you this uh, kind of distinctive and highly detailed look one thing i didn't like about the model are the laser cannons the quad laser cannons are quite fragile i'm gonna show you one example here so these are made with pistol pieces and lightsaber pieces as well but if you you know they're on the tips of the wings they're easy to remove knock them over easily they kind of move so you know one hand just kind of disconnects it and you have to align them perfectly to make the best of the looks because they can uh, be tipped over or disconnected be careful about that the printed iconic viewport is well done really uh, it's not on any joints or anything like in the play scale uh, tie starships you can kind of remove it the access to the cockpit is from the top hatch actually but i mean looks really good the print is well done as we are here we can look at more detail and we have the concussion missile launchers right beneath the cockpit actually i think the lore doesn't really show that the interceptors have the missiles but they did have them in the old x-wing versus tie fighter game remember that one in the back we have the assembly for the twin ion engines really well done this is a separate assembly that's kind of wobbly so be careful about not knocking any bricks off but you can also see the techniques used for that spherical look the way it goes it's kind of the structure inside i kind of go fix the hatch here the structure inside gives you corners and then you attach these sloped pieces to the corners then bend them in a little bit and that way you get the spherical look but you can see there are some minimal gaps visible so i guess that's the best they could do at this scale actually the sphere of the tie looks pretty dang well the twin ion engines you can see on the sides and i think that little thing here is the countermeasures dispensers that's the only thing i could think of let me know in the comment section what this could be for me gotta be the chaffs or flares and the second printed piece is the hatch i'm just gonna remove it just so so you can see the quality of the print it does attach to the uh, assembly allowing you to get access to the cockpit all the stickers in this set are in the cockpit all of these the cockpit is kind of inspired i think from the game star wars squadrons which had the tie interceptors and you can see the detailed look of it it's kind of hard to shoot but it has a lot in it packed the brim we have uh, sensors screens hull integrity radar there's an x-wing being targeted there are the pistol pieces for the joystick controls there's a lot there. All of the sides of the cockpit are uh, finished, done, and there's a big seat for, of course, non-minifigure scale pilot. But yeah, it's packed. It's just non-accessible, really. You can either remove the front viewport and kind of see into it, but really it's blocked by some bricks. And from the top, it's not much to see there. But you know it's detailed because you build it. And it's, I think, the most detailed cockpit I have ever seen in a UCS model. Overall, I like the ship much more than the X-Wing, in fact. Uh, I like that the price is a little lower, 10 bucks less than the previous year's model, so LEGO is cutting prices a little bit here and there, so that's always nice to see. The model is good quality, has some great techniques. Fun fact is that the same designer designed this and the original UCS TIE Interceptor that opened the UCS line back 25 years ago, back in 1999, so that's kind of cool. And I feel it is a worthy model for the 2024 May the 4th day, right? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The set does offer quite a few good things and it's gonna probably be maybe a fan favorite, just like the TIE Fighter was when it came out a few years back. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It was Mike, thank you so much for watching Beyond the Brick and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, goodbye.